It's now 530 and we start tonight with an investigation. It's about a small donation that's raising big questions now for an Indiana congressman. So the big question tonight is, is this campaign contribution illegal or is it just a strange coincidence? Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel takes a closer look at this controversial donation that was made to Representative Luke Messer. Bob? Representative Messer's staff says he did nothing wrong, but he's now facing this formal ethics complaint which alleges the congressman accepted a campaign contribution for helping a local bank. A congressman, a bank, a letter, and a donation. Add them all together, and they now equal an ethics complaint filed this week in Washington. The complaint alleges Indiana Representative Luke Messer tried to help this Muncie bank clear some legal hurdles with federal regulators. Mutual First Bank has been trying to set up a cybersecurity business, but was having trouble getting permission from the Federal Reserve. So earlier this year, during a trip to Washington, the bank's chief financial officer asked Messer for help. I met with his staff in his office in Washington. Soon after that meeting in the congressman's Capitol Hill office, Messer wrote a detailed letter to the chair of the Federal Reserve, strongly advocating for the bank. There's certainly nothing unusual about a congressman trying to help out a constituent. What is unusual is just two weeks after writing a letter to the Federal Reserve on behalf of the bank, Congressman Messer accepted a political donation from the same man who asked him to write that letter. This contribution is very suspicious and merits further inquiry. Melanie Sloan is senior advisor at American Oversight, a political watchdog group in Washington. Her organization filed this ethics complaint against Messer, claiming the $500 he accepted from a bank executive just days after writing a letter violates House ethics rules. Members of Congress may not accept campaign contributions in response to their official actions. And that's really what this looks like. It looks like the bank appreciated Congressman Messer's efforts on its behalf, and so he was given a campaign contribution to thank him. She says even more unusual, the $500 contribution is the first donation that bank CFO Chris Cook has made to a federal lawmaker in nearly a decade. And again, it came just two weeks after Messer wrote a letter for the bank. I support Luke. I support what he's done in the 6th District. Cook says his $500 contribution was to attend a political fundraiser for Messer that took place at a neighbor's house. And he says the timing between the fundraiser and the letter was just a coincidence. Did that letter have anything to do with your contribution? No, not at all. It was bad timing, it appears from the perception of this, but there was nothing, those two situations did not equal uh, the reason for the contribution. Nothing that anyone did was improper or inappropriate. Robert Vane is a spokesman for Luke Messer's Senate campaign. He thinks the ethics complaint is ridiculous because he says the congressman never asked for the contribution. He says it was just $500 to attend a neighborhood fundraiser. $500 in the grand scheme of a political campaign like the coming Senate race is quite simply not a lot of money. It just isn't. There's not a single thing about it that I find inappropriate. None. Zero. It's not a question of the amount that's involved. It's the action that's involved. The timing suggests it was not a coincidence. And as a result, we're asking the Office of Congressional Ethics to investigate and find out more. Now, the Congressional Ethics Office will decide at this point whether the case deserves a full investigation or not. So now Messer's office is saying there's no merit to all of this at all, right? Well, the campaign for the congressman says all this is politically motivated, and the watchdog group, well, they disagree. They say it's purely about government accountability and ethics. We're going to put uh, the complaint and all the letters online a little later on this evening so you can see them all for yourself. I know you'll be staying on top of it. Bob Siegel, thanks. We will.